Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an app review. And uh, for this particular app review, I wanted to do it by sharing how each week's um, artwork is created for Life of an Accounting Droid. So some of the screenshots and um, images and re most recent, more recently the episode number is put together to create that particular image. Um, so the app that I use is called Instasize. It's uh, been available for some time now. Um, I'm not sure how long, probably at least a couple of years I want to say, but I've been using it for a long time to easily make collages of images and this put together images um, or partly to put together multiple images when I want to share to Instagram, but also the original way to share full size images to Instagram before they added the ability to have more native and normal size images than just the standard square. So with that, I will jump right into it. So the app is called Instasize. It's available for Android and iOS. Uh, when you open the app, you get your grid of images that are stored on your um, device. So you can scroll through uh, whatever is available. You can see what's there and uh, start from there. You can also take a picture with uh, your camera. So if you touch the camera button, it'll launch your camera or your uh, default camera app. And you can um, start, you can take pictures that way. Um, go hitting the bars at the top left of the app if you're on the most recent version 2.0 or higher you'll be able to set the image resolution so if you want a higher resolution or lower lower resolution to save space or anything like that you can adjust that and then there's also downloads available so you can get additional backgrounds and things like that so if you want a Christmas background or a Halloween autumn flowers roses things like that you can download them and get that. Uh, some are free and some are paid, or they're most, actually it looks like they're all free. I thought there might've been um, others, but they're all available for free, so you can get additional backgrounds as well. Um, if you, the current version of Instasize does not work on your device or you're on an older incompatible version of Android, you can get the older version, which is which I believe is still available as well in Google Play. So what do you do when, well, let's say you do want to share a full size image to Instagram and it doesn't resize properly or the dimensions are a little bit weird. When you open up, so essentially all you're going to do when you open the image is you'll now have, for example, this full size image that I had took uh, recently um, that will be imported into Instasize. You do, as you can see, you, get, you have your standard square box but it fits that image to your to that box so you can have the whole image posted to Instagram. Now let's say you realize that you don't want those bars and you want to resize the picture because of whatever's on the left and right doesn't you don't want to include. Well you can zoom in and pan the image around. So let's say you want to focus on this the um, particular area then you can do that or let's say you want I want to include this particular area and have um, bars like this you can do that. Um, Instasize also allows you to change the background color and design so if you don't want the standard white you can for example go to colors and I can have blue, red, green and there's a whole set of different colors you can include. Um, there's also um, different patterns so I don't have very many installed I usually just use a default black but I have this checkered um, pattern set up so I can do this as well so if I want to resize it according to that, you, I can do that and have the dots available as well. Um, you can also have filters adjusted. So if your camera does not support different filter modes or there's one that you like that you didn't think of using when you took the picture, you can have it um, adjusted as well. So um, it's an instant filter. So just doing that will... Um, allow you to do that to adjust the filter um the other thing i forgot to mention about zooming in is you can also zoom out so if you want to have um, an automatic border you can do that as well um you can also do various uh overlays so if you want to have um uh, let's say smoke in this case or various things like that to change how the image looks make it look a little bit older let's say like you're on retro camera or something like that you can do that as well um, you can also crop the image so let's say you realize that um, you don't want to include the entire picture then you can um, crop out things that you don't want to include 
You can also include uh, text in your um, image. So let's say you were creating your own meme that you realize based on pictures you took with your friends or you just want to have a label, then you can do that. Double cl clicking on your new um, text text box will uh, bring up the text box. So I'll put in trees with fog or fog and filters. And I'll hit done. Um, as far as um, now, let's say you want to change the color of the text, you'll take that little drop on the top left, and you can have different colors. Let's say you, you want to match it with whatever your um, image filter color is, you can do that as well. You can resize the size of the text, so you can stick it like that and um, resize the. Mm -hmm. Uh, size of the text as well that way as well and now you can have that as well um, so now let's say um, for me let's say I'm creating my um, image that I'm going to include with this week's podcast mm -hmm. so I'll exit with this start all over again so I already have the screenshots I want so um, in this case I'll start with the image that I want on the left it's a screenshot instant size as for this particular review and then I'll click on the collage button and you get a whole different you get a, a series of different kinds of collage options depending on how many images you want to include and so in this case I'm going to pick um, this one right here and I'll touch you double tap on the plus sign and you can add more images so the film review or in this week's episode is going to be a double feature so it's going to be um, Dr. No and the sequel from Russia with Love and in this case it's episode number 35 so I already have the image set there and then I'll zoom in a little bit to make that bigger uh, zoom in for this for the um, those screenshots as well and then in the case of the screenshot of Insta size itself since I don't want to resize that I'll go to border set the background color to black and I'm done so basically I now have the image that I want that says that this is episode 35 I have the screenshots I want that relate to the episode and then from here when you want to share it you'll touch the red arrow, um, arrow on the top right of the screen now you can now share to Instagram your gallery Twitter Facebook WhatsApp whatever so you can share pretty much anywhere and then you can hit more and if you need it, if you want to share it somewhere else then you can uh, share it elsewhere as well so pretty straightforward there for me I sh in this case I'm going to share it to my gallery so I'll just touch gallery and it's saved. I'm all done and that's all there is to go or that's all there is to do. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to the app. Um, you can also um, adjust various other parts of the image. So let's say you realize that an image needs to be rotated or you want to flip it horizontally or vertically based on where the uh, what the image position is or to mess around or to make those other adjustments you can do that as well and then you can zoom in and out on the collage where whatever you need to do there as well so um nothing nothing you know extraordinarily different about that so a pretty straightforward app um i definitely recommend it for me i like it for the two reasons i mentioned the first is to fit um or to create that the uh, collage in instagram and to also fit images in instagram that may not necessarily fit. So for example, screenshots still don't fit properly in Instagram or at least hasn't worked perfectly for me. It still cuts off a little bit at the top and the bottom. So I'll import the screenshot into Instagram. So if I go into, if I touch the screenshot, then I'll, I can um, see the full screenshot. And then if I, I generally don't add text to the, um, to my screenshots as I'm adding a caption but if I want to add a label then I can do that I'll um, do, select what I want to hear, do here so screen shot of insta size or if I type that type the right keys but insta size and from here I can I will of course need to change the color a little bit so I'll just pick the stock black. Um, I'll, I can move the screenshot itself um, over a little bit and then um, rotate the text, for example. So it, um, just for whatever reason, since I didn't do the spaces, but you can 
Uh, I believe you can, it respects the enter, so, so screenshot, enter, of uh, Insta size, so let's do that. So you can do that as well if you want to um, do multiple lines and have um, that kind of image text label as well. So you have all sorts of options. It's a straightforward interface built for touchscreen, so you can move stuff around, drag and adjust as you need, zoom in, zoom out, rotate. You have all those different um, different features available to you. So that's all there is to that. The app is itself is free. It's available for Android and iOS in their default or in their respective app store. So definitely check it out um, and get those. It's get a for me. It's the most straightforward um, collage creation and photo. Or I want to. I want to. I don't want to say it's that mix between meme creation and um, image adjustment um, apps. There, that's available. That's very easy to use and straightforward, and uh, makes it easy to share to whatever apps you may have installed that uh, support the share menu. So if you want to share to Facebook and or Google Plus or Twitter or anything like that. Besides Instagram, then that's all available. Or if you just want to share it to your gallery for later use because you don't have an internet connection, then that is all available to you. So um, that's all for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, saw something that I might have missed or skipped over or didn't make sense, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. And you can find me on uh, Twitter at PatelN01. But that is all for this particular app review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.